Hello, how's everyone? I think you can hear me. Hello, Facebook. How are you all? I gotta get me up on the screen. Let's see. That's all right. We'll wait. We'll wait. But I'm here, so just make sure you have your blocks and your um and your strap. I don't know where I am. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> there you are. <clears throat> Did you work out with uh with Christine? No, I didn't. I um, I usually walk in the morning, so I get a workout in the morning, and then I, I eat and then prepare for the class. So usually I don't get to um, sit through Christine's class. Well, yeah, she gives us quite a workout. Okay, so you're looking for something kind of very stretchy and relaxing then. Well, I got, woke up late, and I just had a banana after her class. Okay. <laughs> so you, you, I'm ready. I'll be back in a minute. start in a couple of minutes. So if, for anyone on Facebook, if you hear me on Facebook, remember to have a couple of blocks in your strap and uh, making sure the block may be uh, really good to put behind you, just to remind you of your posture. Just setting it back behind you and then slowly lifting up. Making sure the chair is comfortable and that your feet can be placed on the floor so that you can get a good rooting action. And if you can, taking off your shoes, that would be very helpful. Um, but again, everyone has a different circumstance. So if, if shoes are something that you don't take off, then just, just be mindful of that. Um, also knowing that, you know, some we do come up in standing poses, uh, using the chair as a prop to help support us and keep us secure, that, um, you have are on a surface that the chair won't slip on or that your feet won't slip on. So if you are without shoes, for example, making sure that the socks, if you're wearing socks, don't slide. A lot of times our, our bare foot is really good about keeping us from sliding. So just be mindful of, of the floor and the chair and the movement that might occur with that. So making sure you're as stable as you can be. I'm going to go into a full screen mode, seeing everyone. There we go, Catherine, I see you now. And let's see, we've got another minute or so. I've got my timer set here. And I uh, don't know how many of you did the bar class. I know it's a good workout. So we'll do a lot of stretching today. Um, we will be doing some stability balance poses. So. Just be mindful, do what you can do. So if it's a, it's a much warmer day, so depending on where you're at, maybe having some water. And um, just, just knowing that you do what you can do. So if you did go to the bar class and now you're here and you'd like to just take a little easier, then do so. Listen to the body, listen to where you are. Uh, we'll do a lot of stretching though. So just listening to the body when you stretch, knowing that you shouldn't overstretch because that is just as bad as falling sometimes. It can take 
months to heal uh, muscles that have been overstretched. So just listening to the body and each time, knowing each side can be very different. So your right side can be very different from the left side. Um, and you probably know reasons for this. It could be surgeries, it could be accidents. Uh, so just knowing where you are today. Let's see. I need to move my video so you can actually see my feet. Let's see, still no feet. All right, I'm gonna prop this photo just slightly. Nope, no feet still. Gotta keep going. There, that should do it. All right. All right, so let us begin. Welcome everyone, this is Chair Yoga. Again, if you weren't here a couple of minutes ago, I did remind you of the block, maybe to sit behind you on a strap, remembering to leave the ego at the door. Knowing you're here to practice with me, to be your main guide, but I'm going to guide you through all of these poses and any modifications, knowing that you can adjust and modify. You can even come into a resting pose, which is simply just sitting and breathing. Breath work is of the utmost importance in our yoga practice. So listening to the breath even and knowing that it should flow freely, never be hindered or labored or stop even more. So try not to hold the breath. And if you do know that you can always keep it moving and rest in order for that to happen. Knowing that the mind is so important in anything that we do. So the mind is what we need to control to be able to focus, to be able to listen to the body, to be able to accept who we are and not make up stories about what we think we are or where we want to be. Just knowing that where you are now in this moment is what's important and what we have to go through. Challenge or a blessing so wherever you're at today, accepting that. Finding your sit bones comfortably in the chair. Making sure that your feet are about parallel to each other, thighs are parallel to each other. Lifting up through the heart, reaching up at the top of the head towards the heavens, lifting through the torso. Arms come out, reaching out, lifting the arms up, Noticing on the shoulders, feel, assessing from every breath, every moment, exhale, palms down, reaching out, really opening up through the chest, slowly, progressively dropping the hands down. We're going to come forward, palms up, lifting, extending forward, but keep the shoulders back. Breathe, inhaling as you lift up tall. Exhaling, palms come down, shoulders drop away from the ears, palms are on the lap. And you may choose to bring the palms up, relaxing them on the thighs or down, coming into any mudra so you can come into your peace mudra, thumb to index finger or pointer finger. Breathing or meditation mudra, palm upon palm, thumbs together, shoulders back. I like to think of palms up as accepting, receiving energy. Palms down, becoming more internal, mindful. Focusing on your heart, on your mind. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, pause sound. Inhale all the cool, fresh air in. Exhale, hop everything out that you don't need, that doesn't help you, that is no good for you. Exhale it, release it. Inhale through the nose. Out the mouth.
Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale, ha for four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, ha, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Pause, holding that breath. Exhale out the nose for four, three, two, one. Pause, holding the breath. Inhale, four. Pause. Exhale for four. Pause. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping this deep breath where it's going. Slowing, feeling the chest rise on inhale, feeling the shoulders, chest drop, belly pressing back on the exhale. Eyes can be closed or gently looking down. Directing the mind inward. Acknowledging the thoughts that may come through, but sweeping them out without judgment. Again, even accepting the thoughts that come into the mind. Focusing on the breath. Inhale, lifting up to the top of the head. Exhaling, chin to chest. Feeling the stretch through the cervical spine, maybe feeling a tug through the shoulders. Breathing through it, slowly inhale, chin to a shoulder. Exhale, back to center. Inhale to the opposite shoulder. Exhaling, keep the breath work going. Inhaling to a shoulder. Exhaling, chin to chest. Back three cycles on your own. Now you can always stop and spot, stretch and breathe through extra tension. Knowing this is your practice. You are your main guy. You must listen to the body, even accepting the emotions, the feelings that you have.
acknowledging those feelings without judgment. And then just knowing where they come from, why they're there. Slowly bringing chin to chest and begin to lift the head up on your inhale. Arms come up, reaching up. Inhale deeply. Exhale, twisting to the right, pressing the feet to the floor, trying not to move the knees. Left hand to right thigh, right hand to the chair. And lift up, nice long spine. Maybe on your next exhale, we're going to twist a little further. Maybe the chin will come back towards the right shoulder. Listen to the body. Notice there should be any pain. There should be no pain. Crunching, popping will be fine, but no pain. Knowing that pain just means you need to back off, readjust, modify. Inhale, unwind. Bring the arms up, lifting tall, reaching. Lifting through the fingers, exhale, twist to the left, right hand to the left side, left hand to the chair, lifting up tall, feel the opening through each vertebra. Maybe on your next exhale, chin goes back, breathe. Listening to the body. From the cervical spine, thoracic spine down to the lumbar. Unwind, realign the spine, lifting the arms, breathe. One more time to the right. Exhale as you do, lifting up through the spine, popping the head, reaching up, breathing. Unwind, realign, breathe. Exhale to the left, lifting up from the top of the head. Exhale, maybe looking back further. Just notice how each side feels, the right, the left, twisting to one versus the other. Inhale, realign, lifting up. Breathe, palms together, elbows together, clasping the hands and rotating the wrists. Breathe. Noticing the lifting up through the ribs, through the heart, extending the abdominal region. Diaphragm still gently, involuntarily working. We're and reverse the rotation. Try and keep the forearms together, maybe feeling the work in the shoulders. Breathe. If you need to bring the elbows down, or if you want to work it further, more muscular, strengthening the air, lifting the elbows higher. Going as slow or as fast as you wish. Exhale, wrists come forward, shoulders drop. Inhale, lift, deep breath in. Exhale, hands come to the chair. Cat cow, we'll start with cow as we lift the heart. Chin still slightly parallel, mindful of the cervical spine. Inhaling tall, exhaling, maybe sliding forward, coming into cat, and pressing the spine back towards your chair. Inhaling, sliding the hands back to the chair, lifting the heart, exhaling up into cow. Inhaling, tall, lengthening the spine, and then bringing belly button back, chin to chest on your exhale for cat. Sliding the hands back for cow, inhaling, tall, exhaling, heart lifts. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Inhaling tall. Slide hands to the knees. Exhale, belly button back, chin to chest. Two more times, using your breath to guide you. Sliding hands back and forth. Be the cat or cow. Your breath is the most important part of the practice. It is primary 
So any poses that you do. So the breath leads the pose. The pose does not form unless you have the breath. Exhaling one last time into the cat or cow. And then inhaling nice and tall, deep breath in. Bring the hands to the chair, holding on to it. Belly button press back, keep the core engaged, shoulder blades back, and extend through the right heel as you lift it up. Left leg is pressing into the floor strongly. If you need to support the right leg, use the hand to help support that right leg. Breathe. Hold and point, flex. We're gonna hold for a while, so do what you need to do. Rotate to the right, all the way around. Nice big circle. Notice how it feels. If you need to back off, this should be okay. Supporting the leg as you need to. Nice long spine. And reverse the rotation, breathe. And dropping it down, lifting up through the spine, feeling that right leg rooting into the floor. We're going to begin to lift through the left heel. Breathe, shoulders up and back, point and flex. And rotate again, maybe using the left hand to support your left thigh. Noticing how the left side feels. Reverse the rotation. Focus on the breath. Abdominal region is engaged. Gently core is working. And press through the heel, dropping it down. Deep breath in, lifting the right arm. Extend the left arm down. So reaching for the heaven and the earth. Good long spine, switch sides, deep breath in. Breathe, exhale, lift up, inhale. Keep the right arm up, hold the chair with the left, and we're going to lift the left leg for opposite limb. Breathe, core is working here. If you need to support that left leg, do so with the left arm. Extend it out. Keep the right leg in line. In line with those toes. Holding here. Maybe supporting. Listen to the body. Inhaling, lifting up. Again, if you have any shoulder issues, you might just bend that elbow. So just listen to the body. Exhale it down. Left arm up, reaching up. Left leg pressing to the floor, strong left leg as you lift the right leg. That left leg prepares the body, engages the core for lifting of that leg. So knowing the preparation that we do is so important, extending out to the side, breathing, reaching, holding it here. Inhaling. Up. Strength is so important in yoga. We do this for strength, not only just stretching and dropping it down. Arms come up, reaching up. Drop the right hand and slowly just start to stretch the left arm over. And notice that arms over the ear. Think of yourself as and having an imaginary wall behind you and you're sliding shoulder up against the Breathing, inhaling, lifting up, reaching up again. You can bend the elbows, drawing the left arm down and extending over, reaching. Really pressing the right foot to the floor. The foundation is of utmost importance. Breathing is primary. Really extending. Think of the imaginary wall behind you. Lifting up, reaching up. One more time, we're going to go to the right, bring that right arm down. 
If you would like more muscular and strengthening of it, you can keep the arms up and extend over. So decide where you wish to be today, finding your edge, breathing, good foundation. Those feet are really firm to the floor. Inhale, lifting up, exhaling over. You can always drop the left arm or for more muscular session, you extend both arms, heads between. Remember the imaginary wall behind you. Breathe, inhale, lifting up, extending up, exhale slightly forward. But prepare posture, hands come to your knees from side to side. Deep breaths in, take your time. Maybe using your block, we're going to bring it down by the side. We're going to do a little bit more twisting. So bring that block down below your head at any level that you wish. So it all depends on the proportions of your arms as to what level that you need. Longer arms might not be such a high block. Shorter arms may be higher. Also depends on your body. So if you need to lift to be able to have a more open diaphragm and lungs, then you So we're going to bring the left hand to, to the block. You might widen the legs a little bit just to open up the abdominal region. Bring the right hand to the right knee. Slide it to the right hip. Begin to lift the right shoulder and feel the twist in the ribs as the heart reaches towards the right side. Breathing, extending, nice long arm. And then maybe once, if the shoulder stack, so right over left, maybe the arm will lift up and really open up through the chest. Again, you can keep the right hand on the hip or you can bind it behind your back. Whatever is comfortable or what you may need today. Breathe. And for those who have a very open spine, maybe you'll bring the chin to look up to the ceiling. Begin to unwind. Your breath should be flowing. Hand comes, right hand to hip, to the knee, extending through the spine, deep breath and switch hands, right hand onto your block, left hand onto the knee. Slowly begin to slide the hand to the hip. Maybe the left shoulder will reach up towards the ceiling. Right arm is strong, pressing into your block. Listen to the body. Maybe this is where you stay. Or maybe you can reach up with the left arm extending eye or binding behind you, breathing always. And maybe the chin will look up and reach up. Exhale, unwind, left hand to left hip to left knee. Bring both hands to the knees, prepare posture. Maybe bring that block back behind you if you were using it. And slow lifting up all the way. Deep breath in, arms come up. We align the spine. Keep the move side to side. Notice how right left hip feels. Extend down, holding. And we're going to press that left foot to the floor, extend through the right heel again. Arms come up this time. And again, you can do goddess arms. You can bend at the elbow. And then slowly begin to extend forward to the extended leg. Lifting the right toes up towards you. Breathe. Working here. It's like a crunch. And lift up. Exhale down. Inhale up. You can drop the foot if you need to. Extend. Lifting up, extend forward, last time up, extend, last time forward, really press that left foot to the floor, lift the right and reaching up, drop the leg, hands come down, breathe, crunches, working on the abs here. 
Begin to extend through the left leg. Right leg is strong. You know how important it is to have that foundation. So press that right foot. Inhale, hands come up. Extend forward, reaching. Bring the left toes towards you. Inhaling up. Exhaling, lift that left foot. Extend the arms to. Inhale, extend forward for three. Deep breath, use your breath, focus on the breath. Extend for four. Inhale, tall. Extend, last one. Lift one, really hold and then lift, dropping foot to the floor, shoulders back. Good. Slide slightly forward. On the other side, using this. We're going to come into Navasana, bow pose, working from four muscles here. Right, so slowly, just going to start focusing on the lifting of the legs and noticing how the abs feel. Press the belly button towards the spine. Abs press back, shoulders lift back. Breathe. I'm going to lift up the left leg, holding it here, and I'm going to recline slightly back and use your arms on the chair to help support your lower back. Lifting up through the heart and the core is engaged. Breathe. Begin to lift the lower leg up so that it is parallel to the floor. You can have a bend in the knee, which is totally fine. You don't have to have it strict. You can bend that knee, hold it. Come forward, drop it down, right leg. Good foundation with the left. Core is in, shoulders back. Lift up the right foot. Breathe and then recline back. Use the arms to support the lower back. Always breathing through the nose if you can. Maybe lifting the lower leg up a little bit higher. Notice the work. On the right side, your obliques, lower abdominals on the right side. Breathe. Come forward. All right, if you have a second block, we're going to try and bring both feet up. And you can use that block to help support you or bring the floor up to you. So you can watch to see how it is, or if you know the pose and you've done it with me before, then you can ride on it. Engage the core, belly button back, shoulders back. Support the back. Use your hands as you need them. Breathe. Recline back first this time. Heels come up. Toes are on the floor. Or you can come immediately to your block or box or pillow. Breathe. Whatever you're using as a prop. And already start to feel the work in your core here as the heels are up. And then maybe lifting up one foot. How's that feel? This is your body. How's your lower back? Or is your heart lifting? Is your core engaged? Bring it down, right leg up. Holding it here, breathe. Can you keep your form? As long as you keep the form, you can maintain the pose. Adjust yourself anytime you need to. Maybe lift up both legs. Holding it here. Core is strong. Heart is lifting. Breathe. Maybe the lower legs lift up. Heart is still lifting. Keep the form, otherwise, come out of you. Exhale, feet come down. Slide it forward. Bring the feet all the way down. Lifting up. Exhale, prepare posture, widen the legs as you need to. And then our first forward fold. And slowly bring the hands down to the shins, to the block, maybe to your feet. And lift up through the spine, each vertebrae opening up, head lifting, heart lifting. Trying to keep parallel to the floor. And then exhale, maybe your head can go below the heart. Again, knowing it may be if your doctor has told you to uh, maintain the head above the heart for any medical issues, 
listening always to your doctors. Allow the head to hang if you are allowed to bring the head below the heart. And let it just move side to side to one shoulder then to the other. Relaxing the hands, relaxing the face. Breathing. Slowly bringing hands to your knees if they're not already there and then lifting up. Deep breath in, arms come up. Exhale, hands to the chair. And then we're going to bring our knees out. Start noticing how the hips are feeling. And then bring the, keeping the knees out, bring the toes in together. So forming like a diamond shape. Holding the chair, breathing, and then slowly lifting the heart. This is our modified bound angle. Coming forward, maybe bring the knees in, deepen the stretch. You can bring the block underneath you at whatever height, and then bring the toes onto the block. Knees come out. And this just helps to deepen it a little bit by bringing the feet in closer to the torso. Lifting the heart, reaching up. At the same time, bring the knees apart. Breathe. Exhale, relax. Bring the knees forward. If you're using the block, bring the feet off. And then come around. One other alternative to this is keeping the block here at the thinnest side, so like this, all right? Not the wide one, but thin, right between the feet. Now we're gonna bring the feet in against it, holding the block, so you're holding the block with your feet. We're going to press the block with the feet as the knees come out. Arms, again, are on the chair, holding and supporting the torso. And then here you squeeze the block, and this really engages the leg. You should be feeling the work in the quadriceps, and maybe some stretching as you press the knees back further. Oh, breathe. For more muscular events, begin to slowly lift that block up. You'll feel the squeeze in the glutes, breathe, and drop it down. Whew. All right, how was that? You felt that one, I'm sure. All right, we're gonna try it one more time, squeezing the block between the feet. Do I have to use the box? You don't have to use the box. You can, uh, good question. You can do it without the blocks and just really press the feet in together. Yeah. Blocks just add that extra edge. So you, you don't have to use the blocks. You can press the feet together, press the knees apart, Lift up the heart and then slowly bring the feet up without the block. So good question, thank you. And then bring it down, bring the knees in, squeeze, you feel that in the thighs and it's core work too. So it's really good core work. Shoulders up and back, arms come up. Exhale, bring the right leg up, squeeze it in. And we're coming into pigeon. So if you have that block by you, keep it there and maybe put, place the side of your foot onto the block and the knee comes out. If you're very flexible in the hips, maybe you'll bring the right ankle onto the left thigh. And we're coming into pigeon. So we're opening up hips a little bit more now. So this is a totally different movement for the hips, shoulders up and back. And slowly come forward, exhaling, bringing the heart closer to the floor. But the top of the head is extending forward. The tailbone extends towards the back of the chair. Breathe as you do this. Each time you inhale, lengthening the spine. Each time you exhale, deepening, coming closer, finding your edge. You might even move side to side, even grab the chair and really help to press the tailbone back. 
feel a little added stretch from sometimes when you do this. Inhale, slowly begin to lift up, deep breath in, reaching up to the top of the head and bring that knee in, squeeze it in, point flex, extend out the leg and drop it down. Left leg in, squeeze it in, breathe. Maybe use the block on this side. You know, each side can be different. Or maybe that left ankle can reach onto your right thigh. Minding the knee, there should be no pain. Right? Making sure that there's maybe a 90 degree angle with your foot that sometimes helps protect the knee. So listen to the body, lifting up through the heart. Standing through the top of the head and then reach forward, hinging at the hip, not at the waist. Hips here this is where you feel the hips. Maybe grabbing onto the chair and reaching forward with the top of the head. Breathe. Remember, there should be no pain, but yes, some intense stretching is going on. Maybe some crunching and popping, but there should be no pain associated. Breathing. Inhale, begin to lift up, reach up, arms come up. Exhale, hands down to the knee, reaching in, squeeze, dropping it down. We're gonna come up into some standing poses before we come into our resting and uh, cooling down period. So coming up out of the chair as you can, lifting up, I'm going to move it so you can see me from this side. This might be a good point to get a little water too. So if you need water, you work those abs, you want to get some water. We're going to come to the, when you're ready, Coming to the back of the chair. Shoulders are up and back. Feet pressing into the floor. Finding your Tadasana. So remember Tadasana. Feet about hip width apart. You can have them slightly closer. So some people do like that. But otherwise, in general, it's about two to hip fist width apart. And the toes come up. This engages the arches. Unless you have flat feet, then the toe is pressed down and this really engages the arches as well. Begin to press the shin forward so that you're not locking your knees, all right? You don't want compression in the knees. Your quadriceps are engaged and the kneecaps pop up. Belly button presses back, shoulder blades back. This is our Tadasana. Hands press down. You can always hold the chair though. Breathe. Finding your Tadasana, engaging from the top of the head to the feet, rooting. This is a foundational pose. You'll notice that this pose is in almost every pose we do. Everything engaged. Hands come up, exhale, reach for the chair, and then press the tailbone back. Knees stay back slightly, try not to bring them forward of your toes and then come into your chair pose. Lift the heart, there should be no pain in the knees. If there is, come up slightly so that you don't feel any pain. Or if not, do this in the chair and just lift up using your hands out of the chair. Breathe, holding it here. Good, deep breath in. Inhale, lift up, step back, come forward, reaching forward. Still holding the chair into your prepared posture. So your spine should be about parallel with the floor. Bending the knees one at a time, walking the dog. Breathe. If you're feeling flexible and you have not found your edge, maybe walk your hands down to the seat of your chair, coming into a lower fold, deepening, coming closer to a forward fold. Feeling the stretch in your hamstrings, breathing here. 
Inhale, slowly walk your hands up if they're not already there for prepared posture. And then begin to straighten the back, straighten your bottom into a plank. Nice long spine, you're coming forward. You're kind of stretching through the heels here. Maybe the heels want to come up if you're really tight in the hamstrings. Otherwise, the heels try to come to the floor. Your core is engaged, deep breath in. Take a slight step with your right foot forward. Coming into a small lunge and stretch through the left leg. Right knee should be over the right ankle, so maybe bring that foot forward if you need to align that knee over the ankle. Lift up through the heart, deep breath in. And straighten the front leg now. Breathe, nice stretch again through the hamstring. Try and keep the hips so that they are parallel to your chair. All right, so if you need to bring that right hip back, to try and keep it in alignment with the hips and feel that. And then keeping that front leg straight, we're gonna lift up and notice how the hips start to lock in place. Breathe, nice. We're going to bend the front knee now back to our lunge. Deep breath in. And then we're going to try, see if you can do this, try to lift that left leg back straight to the front leg just slightly. And here we have a lift of that leg. Reach up with the top of the head. Breathe, hold the chair for stability. This is our modified staff pose. Exhale. And drop the foot forward, reaching up with the top of the head into Tadasana, shoulders back, breathe, stepping back, both feet into prepared posture, bring the tailbone back, head comes forward, nice long spine, breathe. Maybe coming into a forward fold, dropping your hands down to the chair, bottom of the seat here, breathe. Bending knee one at a time, relax the head side to side. Again, if you need to stay in prepared posture, please do. Inhale, begin to bring the hands back to prepare postures and on there, and then slowly plank, begin to straighten the body and bend the elbows just ever so slightly. Breathe. Right leg is going to come forward. Small step forward. Make sure that knee is over the ankle and stretch through the left heel. Breathe. Actually, I think we need to switch it. So if we need to switch it, let's see. Yes, we switch it. Sorry. It's the left leg forward and the right heel bends, stretches back. Breathing, nice long spine, good posture. Shoulder blades up and back. Breathe. And then slowly we're going to come forward, straightening that front leg. And then notice the hips. See about bringing that left hip back so it's in line with the right. Breathing here, holding. Nice long spine. Lifting the spine now and see if the hips will lock in place. Strong, nice and tall. All right, get ready. We're going to do our modified staff pose. We're going to bend that front leg into our lunge. Strong left leg. Pressing that left heel into the floor. Slowly lift the right heel off the floor. You can be an inch off the floor. You can even have your toe on the floor. This is where you need to be. And begin to lift the heart up nice and tall. Breathe. Holding it here. Squeezing that glute. Hips are in line. And bring the right foot forward. Tadasana. Shoulders up and back. Coming around. We're going to hold on to the chair. Coming to our tree pose. So find Tadasana, shoulders up and back. Bring up the right heel, right knee. 
Feel the strength in the left leg, but don't walk that left knee. Bring up the right knee if you can, and exhale it out. If you're in chair, if you're sitting in chair, just bring the knee out, lifting this foot off the floor, and then dropping it down while you're in, in the chair. Otherwise, if you're standing and you wish, you can bring that foot to either the floor, the ankle, the calf, or you can even bring it up higher, but never onto the knee. Keep the strong left leg. Even if you're in chair, strong chair. Knee is out if possible in the chair. Long, long spine, lifting up maybe through your left arm. Hold on to that chair though. Breathe. If you're feeling really balanced and you have a focal point in front of you, maybe you'll see about bringing that right arm up. Finding your balance, keeping the strength in the core, the hips, the glutes. And all the way from your foot, rooted to the floor, up to your fingertips. Bring the hands down to the chair or into prayer. Bring the knee forward and down. Shake it out, ready for the other side. Deep breath in, adjust as you need to. Strengthen the right leg, slight bend in the knee, and then the left heel begins to lift. If you're in chair, strong right leg, and then slowly lift up, everyone, their left knee. Deep breath in. Exhale it out to the side. Even if you're in chair, try not to walk into your standing. Find that spot where your foot can be planted, either the floor, the ankle, the thigh, the calf. I mean, some can bring it up. You're welcome to bring it up onto the thigh. And for those who have no issues with the knees, you can do the lotus pose. Breathe. Hold it here. Hold on to your chair. Maybe your right arm will come up. Really extend through that right side. Feel from the right heel all the way up to the right fingertips. Breathing. Holding. Strong engagement of the body. Never holding the breath. Maybe you'll feel balanced for the opposite. Arm to come up, reach up, full tree pose here. Breathing. When you're ready, you're gonna bring the hands together down to the chair or into prayer. And release the leg, bring it forward and down. Shake it out. Shoulders up and back. All right, I have to pull you down. So we're going to come back into our chair. So have your strap. We'll just do the arm work today. We did pigeon pose already. So you're always welcome to stretch whatever you need to stretch. So if you have a strap or a belt or a resistance band, this is a very useful prop. And bring the arms forward, bring the shoulder blades back. Deep breath in, good spinal alignment as you lift up the arms, extending up. And slowly, just bringing them down. Exhale as you do, nice deep breaths. Nice inhale, nice deep inhale, lifting up, and then maybe bringing it around beyond the head, maybe reaching back, breathe, maybe opening up a little wider if you need to open up to be able to extend further back. Trying to keep the arms fairly straight, fairly symmetrical to each other. Breathe through the tension that you might be feeling. And when you're ready, inhaling, coming right back up. Deep breath in. Exhaling forward. Relaxing the arms. 
I'll give you an option change here is to come to the floor and bring the feet onto the chair. Otherwise, stay seated for Shavasana. Right. So everyone knows how to stay seated in Shavasana. For those who wish, I will just show you. To just come down to the floor. If that's available to you, bring the legs onto the bottom of your chair and relax and find your Shavasana. And this is an option always with their chairs to do that. Or you can bring the feet up onto a wall and have the feet relaxed onto a wall. So wherever you are, find your Shavasana. Begin to come back to your breath. Allow the arms to relax. If, if you're in sitting position, then allow the hands to drop onto your lap. Palms are up. Begin to close the eye. Slowly, deeply taking a breath in through the nose. Feeling the cool air come in cooling the body, and exhaling everything out the mouth, releasing the heat, the old air, one more time, inhale, exhale out the mouth, cleansing breath. Feel the shoulders drop, feel the chest drop, feel the mind relax. Inhaling through the nose, your natural rhythm coming back to you. Listening to the air as it flows in and out of your lungs these big sacks in our chests that provide us with the energy, the oxygen has, breaking the bonds of energy to work the muscles, allowing microfibers to move, and therefore create muscular movements that we can see with our eyes. Finding gratitude for each and every fiber in our body. If you can visualize it, you can see how amazing our bodies are. Having gratitude for what we have and knowing that that's enough. It's enough what we have inside. Our minds, our hearts, everything else is extra. Inhale, deep breath in, arms come out and relax. Reaching up, deep breath in, and to prayer. Bringing the hands down, thumb to sternum, stretching the neck just gently as it looks down at your hands. Elbows by the side. Deep breath in, lifting up the head. I thank you for coming today, for practicing with me. I find gratitude in each and every one of you. 
that I'm able to share with you this moment, this practice, this time. I am grateful. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you very much. I hope you had a good bar class if you showed up and a good stretch in yoga and some strengthening. I didn't let you off too easy. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to try and stay cool. It's going to be a warm one. So hopefully you stay cool and you're comfortable where you're at. I'm comfortable where I'm at and thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Have a good lunch. Take care, be good, and we'll see you um, tomorrow or Thursday, hopefully. Yeah, I didn't quite make it on.